He's known as the music in the music world as the Pied Piper of Funk. And his past hits have included You and I, Mary Jane. His new album is right here. It's called Street Songs. It's already gone triple platinum. And he's going to sing. <laughs> And so that, that's exactly what the clothes are made out of, too. <laughs> He's going to sing his smash from a title, Super Freak. Fasten your seatbelts, folks. Here's Rick James. so square in all my life. <laughs> <laughs> we really you look all right? Can't you get us a braid? I can get you a bunch of them. Can you? Mm -hmm. That is incredible, Rick. Thank you. Now, do you have a head braider in the band? Is there one person that comes in and braids the whole no, band? No, we have a lady uh, out here in Hollywood named Felicia who she does the whole band just about. Wow. She's very slow, but she's very good. Yeah. <laughs> and how, how does that work? I mean, uh, you don't have to brush it. You don't have to do anything. Just put water on it and shampoo and conditioner and... And away you go. Leave it alone. Uh, for how, how long at a time? Three, four months. Take it out and do it again. Isn't that something? Yeah. Yeah. What I'm really glad to see you, Rick. Thank and you. It's all good to be here. My things. mother would be so proud. Ah, uh, would she? Hi, Mom. 
<laughs> Your mom is very famous. Uh, she was. She used to run numbers. Yes, she did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, people. Yeah. Listen, you that's know, a very serious business. It's a thing. Um, if you're winning, my mother was a. She was a dancer with Catherine uh, Dunham. Oh, wow. At one time, and uh, she did run numbers, and she supported eight kids on her own, and uh, she did a great job of it. My brother, uh, one of the guys who worked with me as attorney, that's my brother. He went one of the best law schools in the country. I didn't turn out too bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> I'd like to know who's making more money, the lawyer or the singer? He works for me. Oh, does he? <laughs> hey, Rick, did your mom ever tell you, though, her biggest winner? What was um, the biggest winner your mom ever had? The biggest winner she ever had was her pet number, which was a house that we lived in in the projects when I was growing up. It was 342. And, uh, Whenever she would go to sleep and dream that number, she'd always hit, which would bring a lot of income. Matter of fact, she's hit off, you know, when numbers like you go to sleep yeah. and you dream. And you dream the number. And you play the number. Everybody in our family, she's, she's hit off, you know. Has she really? Absolutely. She's a very magical woman. She's a very special woman. Are great amounts of money won on those numbers thing? It, it depends, you know. It's like they have a single action thing. Hey, I'm talking about the numbers business. <laughs> sure. They, no, they have a like, single action where you play a, a single individual number. Yeah. You, the more money you put on, the more money you win. You know, it's all, uh, it's all based on horse, you know, horse racing and the stock exchange. Tell the truth, are you anything like this off the stage? No, I'm really quite quiet and peaceful normally. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know- You live Rick, on a ranch, don't yeah, you? Yeah, the, the Rick James image is wild and crazy, but you know, I got a ranch and horses, you know, and I'm really into them and my dog. You're a stuff. country squire. Yeah, I live in the country. Whereabouts? Outside of Buffalo. Oh, that's nice. A place called East Aurora. It's real pretty, real quiet. Beautiful country. What kind of horses yeah. do you have? Quarter horses. <whistles> yeah. They are fast. The quarter horse races, what, take about 19 seconds, 18 yeah. seconds. They're 18 fast seconds. Yeah. all of a sudden. Yeah. Right? And I got a favorite horse. He's a champion polo horse. Do you do any of that stuff, barrel racing? Or? No, I, I play a little. I'm learning how to play a little polo. I just, you know, basically just polo. racing. Yeah. Polo. Polo, sir. Yeah. Polo. <laughs> The puck, uh, pull everything? You know, the stick and the thing on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Show up for one of the polo games like this sometime. Hey. Huh? That'll clear their sinuses for a week. Might help them out. Yeah, it might. Hatters. All right, let's talk professionally here. Let's get Cal Rudman yes, to Cal. jump in. He loves Rick James, as we all do. I love Rick. Cal Rudman. Yeah, it's well, great showmanship. Yes, it, the it best. is marvelous. It did sell out the Spectrum two nights. That's 40,000 yeah. seats in just a matter of hours. Jeez, no Rhythm and Blues show has done that before. It's unprecedented. And triple platinum, uh, your sales are just setting new, new records in the recording. What are you going to do with all that money, Rick? Going to invest it in making more money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's really funny. When I met Cal, I, I knew all about him, and you know, he's such a big name in the business. You yeah. Know, like yourself. I was really scared. You know, we were at the Spectrum two nights, and it's the first time ever in history anybody has sold off the Spectrum, and Cal Rudman's there, and Georgie Woods, and all these people, and basketball players and stuff. And I'm like, it just dawned on me how incredible it all was. You know, and he, he's quite a normal person. You know, I thought he'd be this guy, you know, who. Big, I thought he'd be a lot taller, number one. Yeah. He's this little guy. My mother, <laughs> my mother loves him. You know? He's a giant in the musical yes, world. Yes, he is. Yes, That's he is. where he is. I wanted to give his mother's name. Betty. Betty from Buffalo. Betty oh, is that Buffalo. the name? Betty from Betty Buffalo. Betty from Buffalo. She loves you too, by the yeah, way. Betty, give her my love, will you please? I will absolutely do that. This is the album that everybody's talking about and everybody is buying. And there is a sign. Did I get it wrong? No. Oh, okay. My good sign. Good sign. I like the back over here. That's a new mm. disco dance. I'll call the law. <laughs> Search and seizure. <laughs> Search and seizure. Um, there is a side in here called Ghetto Life mm -hmm. that you relate to. Yeah, it was written about basically about me growing up yeah. in the ghetto, hanging out on corners and singing with the fellas. Can we hear that with the gang? Absolutely. Okay. Here's Rick James. <laughs> Thank you. 
Town Street Song. Hey. Welcome right back, everybody.